स्टार्ट करते हैं डॉक्टर गर्ग विद द टॉपिक इट बड़ा ही अद्भुत टॉपिक है चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंटल डिसऑर्डर्स एंड हैवी मेटल टॉक्सिसिटी हैवी मेटल टॉक्सिसिटी बड़ा ही डिफरेंट किस्म का वर्ड है और फंक्शनल मेडिसिन में काफी इसका उपयोग है तो पहले थोड़ा सा इसी को ही इंट्रोड्यूस कर लेते हैं कि हम ऐसा क्या एसोसिएशन कर रहे हैं विद द चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट डिसऑर्डर्स एंड हैवी मेटल एंड हैवी मेटल टॉक्सिसिटी ऐसा क्या होता है प्लीज एक्सप्लेन प्लीज एक्सप्लेन Yes. So first, we'll look go a little into background. Okay, uh, the number of children suffering from the condition today is exponentially growing. Now, we can cannot keep blaming the genes for the problem because there is no evidence to prove that human genome has changed in thirty, fifty, sixty years. But number of children suffering prevalence is way far more greater today. so gene theory no more can explain that genes are changed and it has led to the problem it's not the problem so certainly there are other factors and it's a multifactorial problem there's a lot of other factors which are causing the problem right so we in functional medicine so first of all let's for the viewer viewers for them to understand functional medicine is allowing us to understand the disease better is allowing us to get into the root causes of the disease better the conventional system most there's a diagnosis there's a drug there's a diagnosis there's a drug but can, in functional medicine we don't worry too much about the outcome which is a manifestation which is a diagnosis we rather want to look into the root cause of the problem Now, any disease any chronic disease will have multiple root causes and heavy metal toxicity in autism in one of the major root cause that we are finding today the and and if you can you know look at the correlation as we are becoming more industrialized as pollution is increasing as uh, fuel burning is increasing as you know amount of toxins introduced chemical toxins introduced in the environment is increasing we are also seeing a proportional increase in ch- children suffering from with the disease so this is straight on the face that that as the toxicity is increasing increasing in the environment more children are being diagnosed with the problem so uh, agar hum chota sa summarize kare is baat ko to it means ki sirf genes hi uh, responsible nahi hote hain it is the environment around the genes and khaskar jo industrial wastes etc in the pollution that is produced is affecting the way the genes are being expressed and that is also responsible for the child developmental disorders uh, yahi keh rahe hain aap uh, absolutely yes so, so dr uh, garg sorry to aaj usko epigenetics ke naam pe bataya ja raha hai ki okay. genetics to change nahi hua lekin epigenetics the environment around the genes outside the body inside the body to change ho gaya hai dramatically hmm. jisse gene expression change ho gaya and in this case because epigenetics is poor which means lot of toxic burden in the body leading to poor epigenetic uh, gene, uh, effect on the genes leading to poor outcome leading to a disease perfect so uh, most importantly uh, like normally parents ko i mean it's really dis- disheartening jab parents ko pata chalta ki unke bacche ko ek koi child developmental disorder hai aur koi naam diya jata ki speech mein problem hai ya behavioral problem hai um to unko kisi therapist ke liye bheja jata hai so on a very conventional basis the parents are told that therapies are the way to go and lifelong kind of therapies are the way to go but we are over here talking about heavy metal toxicity and all तो इसका कोई लाइक एवरी टाइम दे इज एविडेंस बेस्ड अप्रोच इन साइंस सो एंड नॉर्मली जितने भी पेरेंट्स होते हैं नो डाउट टुडे वी हैव अ डर्थ ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन गूगल कीजिए एआई कीजिए सब कुछ कीजिए आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन होता है सो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज क्या ये पॉइंट हैवी मेटल टॉक्सिसिटी के बारे में हमारे व्यूअर्स हमारे पेरेंट्स ढूंढ सकते हैं स्टैटिस्टिकली या एविडेंस बेस या कोई आर्टिकल ऐसा है जो शेयर करना चाहेंगे आप डॉक्टर गर्ग जो इम्पोर्टेंट रहेगा हमारे पेरेंट्स एंड व्यूअर्स के लिए यस एच एस इनफ रिव्यू आर्टिकल्स हैं जो पॉइंट आउट करते हैं एज कम्पेयर टू न्यूरोटिपिकल चिल्ड्रन 
ऑटिस्टिक बच्चों में ए बच्चों में अमाउंट ऑफ हेवी मेटल इज मच हायर ये परसेंटेज अपने पास क्लियरली नहीं है पर इनफ रिव्यू आर्टिकल्स आर अवेलेबल जिन्होंने बहुत बहुत स्टडीज को कोलेट करके उनका डेटा को एनालाइज किया है कि सादा बच्चों में जिसमें ऑटिज्म है उनमें हेवी मेटल डिपॉजिट्स जाते हैं इट कुड बी इन द ब्लड इट कुड बी इन द टिश्यूज नाउ वी हैव सो फार वर्क विद ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड चिल्ड्रन एंड वी टेस्ट देयर ब्लड मार्कर्स मेनी अ टाइम वी टेस्ट देयर हेयर टू नो द टिश्यू डिपॉजिट्स नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ दिस चिल्ड्रन नाइन्टी परसेंट दैट इज अ डेटा विद दस नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ दिस चिल्ड्रन हैव हेवियर लोड ऑफ टॉक्सिन्स मोर देन एबनॉर्मल हाई लेवल्स आर देयर इन द बॉडी वाओ वेरी अमेजिंग रिसर्च दो बट एक इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज मैं पूछना चाहूंगी अगेन अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द व्यूअर्स दैट यू नो अल्टीमेटली ये टॉक्सिन्स अगर पोल्यूशन में है यू आर आइदर ब्रीदिंग इट या टचिंग इट या इज देर एनी अदर इनपुट बट इट्स अल्टीमेटली इफेक्टिंग द ब्रेन तो ऐसे क्यों ऐसा क्या होता है टॉक्सिन्स के साथ जो सीधा ब्रेन में इफेक्ट करते हैं ओके okay, as per the data uh, the, these heavy metals are directly neurotoxic okay, okay. they are directly they can poison the cell right when we do a pet scan a, a functional imaging of the brain for these children we we realize many parts of the brain are not fully functional in the sense they are metabolically hypofunctioned us part ke brain mein इनफ मेटाबॉलिक एक्टिविटी नहीं हो रहा है एंड वन ऑफ द रीजन इज ये टॉक्सिन की वजह से ये हेवी मेटल की वजह से वहां का सेल को डेथ हो गया उतना वो हाइपो मेटाबोलिक नहीं रहा ना क्योंकि बॉडी ये टॉक्सिन कैन ब्रेक डाउन ऑल प्रोसेस इन द सिस्टम राइट और बॉडी क्या करते हैं बॉडी ट्राइज टू फर्स्ट जॉब ऑफ द बॉडी टू कीप अ लाइफ so it will wrap them in the fat and put it somewhere and brain has lot of fat so brain relative to the rest of the body can end up depositing lot not more okay uh very very insightful uh so agar saral bhasha mein kahe to uh agar hamari engine choti choti engines in the brain uh wo तो उसमें टॉक्सिन फंस जाता है तो वो काम करना ही बंद कर देते हैं ऐसा ही है ओके ओके सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई वांट टू नो कि पोल्यूशन तो हर कोई देख रहा है आई मीन एवरीवन इज देयर बट हर कोई इफेक्ट नहीं होता एंड मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम पेरेंट्स के लिए एक बहुत ही चैलेंजिंग बात आ जाती है कि उनका बच्चा तो ये करता है और मेरा बच्चा नहीं कर पाता है विच बिकम्स अ वेरी वेरी पूरी फैमिली को एक स्टेप बैक लेना पड़ जाता है इन ऑल देयर एक्टिविटीज तो ऐसा क्यों है कि कुछ लोग इफेक्ट हो जाते हैं और कुछ लोग नहीं ओके इट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन तो आर ह्यूमन बॉडी हैज द एबिलिटी टू डिटॉक्स ओके तो टॉक्सिन आएगा लेकिन बॉडी डिटॉक्स कर सकता है in some cases our gen- genetically our detoxification abilities are poor in relation to others probably 20 30% of the population jahan par one of the gene is mthfr gene jo fully functional nahi hai it might be functioning at a 60% it might be functioning at 20% or 80% or 100% right so one of the gene for example that gene is affected now it is not directly correlated to the the autism but it it can impair the detoxification abilities of the child or even an adult now if wo detoxification nahi ho pa raha then accumulation keep happening jaise jaise accumulation hoga waise waise metabolic dysfunction hoga waise waise manifestation of the problem ho jayega to jab bhar jata usi ko hum toxicity bolte hain to aapke heavy metals increase hote ja rahe increase ho ja rahe aur wo इस लेवल पे आ गए हैं जहां पे वो टॉक्सिक होने लग गए हैं और वो इफेक्ट करने लग गए हैं तो आ, क्या ये ये बात सही कही है मैंने आ, व्यूअर्स की समझ के लिए 
Yes. So, आप देखेंगे इवन पेरेंट्स वुड बी एबल टू को रिलेट टू इट मेनी ऑफ दीज चिल्ड्रन आर ऑलमोस्ट ओके टिल द एज ऑफ वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स और टू ईयर्स एंड केसेस थ्री ईयर्स देन रिग्रेशन है तो मतलब कि उनका स्पीच भी ठीक था उनका ग्रोथ भी ठीक था उनके माइलस्टोन्स भी ठीक थे मोस्ट ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स जो भी हम कन्वेंशनली नोट करते हैं दे वर ओके देन वॉट हैज लेड टू द रिग्रेशन वी कैन नॉट ब्लेम द जीन्स इन दैट केस राइट बिकॉज वो तो ठीक से चल रहा था समथिंग हैज लेड टू द रिग्रेशन सो वन ऑफ द फैक्टर कुड बी एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ द टॉक्सेंस दे कम्स अ टिपिंग पॉइंट वेन इट स्टार्ट मैनिफेस्टिंग एज अ डिजीज तो व्यूअर्स के लिए एक इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है कि आ, हम हर बार जब गूगल करते रहते हैं अपने बच्चे को परेशान देखते हुए ना रिस्पॉन्ड करते हुए हम बहुत परेशान हो जाते हैं पेरेंट्स एंड वेरियस थेरेपीज वाला गूगल करते हैं देखते हैं कि हम कैसे रिजॉल्व कर पाए हैवी मेटल टॉक्सिसिटी भी एक बड़ा ही इम्पॉर्टेंट पहलू है जो देखना पड़ेगा हमें एंड फंक्शनल मेडिसिन अप्रोच हमें एक मौका देती है एक बच्चे को ठीक करने के लिए सो so, अगर हम इस टॉक्सिन्स को निकाल सकते हैं पहली बात तो डॉक्टर गर्ग बताइए कि ये हम डिटेक्ट कर सकते हैं क्या कोई डायग्नोस्टिक्स है जिससे पता चलेगा या फिर कोई जनरल अप्रोच है इसमें राइट राइट नो एब्सोल्युटली वी नीड टू नो कौन सा टॉक्सिन है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल उसके लिए वी कैन डू अ ब्लड टेस्ट ब्लड में हम मकोरी एल्युमिनियम लेड आर्सेनिक तो सीरम टेस्टिंग वी कैन डू बट दैट इज ओनली गिविंग द अमाउंट ऑफ टॉक्सिन फ्लोटिंग इन द ब्लड नाउ अमाउंट ऑफ टॉक्सिन डिपॉजिटेड इन द बॉडी इन द ब्रेन इन द बोन्स कुड बी मच हायर देन वी कैन यूज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ अ हेयर send it to lab and test and that will relatively give a picture about the brain amount of toxins in the brain because hair are close to the brain tissue there is no absolute way to know how much toxin is there but these are quite good references you we can test in the serum we can test in the hair and relatively we get a good picture uh, how much is the problem सो so, एक कैलकुलेटेड अप्रोच रहती है जब आपको एक डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट का रिजल्ट मिल जाता है अब इसको एक क्योंकि आपने इतने सारे केसेस देखे हैं डॉक्टर गर्ग वेरियस एज ग्रुप्स आल्सो यू हैव डेल्ट विद वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर अ केस अलोंग विद आवर व्यूअर्स जिसमें आप डिस्क्राइब कर सकते हैं कि आपने कैसी टॉक्सिसिटी देखी थी एंड वॉट डिड यू डू अबाउट इट वॉज वॉट वॉज हाउ डिड यू गो हेड विद ट्रीटमेंट and uh, how long did it take and what's the kind of thing that people can expect so uh, shall we uh, go into that kind of a case study kind of thing yeah yeah absolutely absolutely so like i said 90% of the children they have higher amount of toxins right 90% of them now just to give you one example if i can remember on the top of my head uh, there was a child of i think 4 to 5 4 years old then they had come to he was completely muted he would not lot of children they are able to utter words but they know they are not able to communicate because brain is not fully functional but this child was also muted right so when we tested his lead other metals also but lead was 400 far more greater in amount in the body, uh, in the blood okay now when interestingly we dig deeper we realized this child would play in the area where the, ch- the parents would keep lot of batteries those inverter batteries so probably their business was into that so these lead batteries will fumes will poison the child and ch- mother has tried everything before that and she, she was so disheartened and planning to commit suicide and all of that so that reality of this problem uh, but luckily luckily this child just within 3 months he started speaking from muter to a chatter box now every child will respond differently i am i'm giving a extreme case where extreme amount of lead and extreme fast recovery the moment a toxic burden start, started coming down immediately the child started responding because and this like child might- was i'm sorry this child was diagnosed with something uh, koi particular cheez boli gayi thi iske liye koi therapy bhi karwai thi is bacche ke liye uh, something yeah, yeah. like autism that was the label autism okay. was the label okay. and uh, okay. speech delay was a big problem in that okay and they were okay. drawing everything see again 
uh, therapies are specifically to train somebody on something. Now, if my brain is not able to respond to, to your questions, how much you ask me to repeat and repeat, I might be able to repeat in some cases, but I don't even understand what you're asking me and how shall I respond to it? I'm just repeating what you're saying. It's, it's no good. My brain should be able to pick it up your question, able to process the answer, then coordinate with the tongue and then word it out. So brain function is very, very important. Physical brain has to perform good. Then I can do all my activities as it's supposed to be. So if the engine is shut down, hai, then how will it do the remaining functioning uh, if that if that's how it is? Yes. Okay, so we work on the engines of the of the brain. So uh, how is the child doing now? Um, so again, uh, uh, it's, it's been a while since we have been in touch, but uh, after one and a half year, the parent has sent us pictures where child was modeling for a school. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so at the end of the day, uh, something is causing the problem. Something is leading to the manifestation, which is called as autism, which is called as ADHD, which is called as GDD, different names based on the symptoms. Lekin agar hum us karan ko, which is multifactorial by, by the way, and heavy metals is one of the reason. Jaise jaise hum usko kam karne chalu karenge, body is meant to be healed. Body is meant to be healthier. It start healing itself. Wonderful, wonderful. So viewers, aapne abhi suna, there is... Uh, this is one of the things. One point hai jahan par, uh, there are multiple ways jis pe baat ki jati, autism and child disorder, development and disorders ke liye. Lekin heavy metal toxicity bhi ek important cheez ho sakti hai, jisko shayad aapne explore nahi kiya hai. So, jab aapko heavy metal ke baare mein pata chal jata hai, through various diagnosis, tab us par kaam kiya ja sakta hai. So, most important thing, Dr. Garg, I think aap pretty sure, uh, इतना एक्सपीरियंस है आपके पास आपने देखा होगा कि जब पेरेंट्स को पता चल जाता कि क्या प्रॉब्लम है यानी कि रूट कॉज क्या कहां पर हम कर सकते हैं काम देन उस पे जब फोकस्ड वे से काम होता है तो आ, कैसे चलता है फिर काम हाउ डू थिंग्स वर्क विद द पेरेंट्स एज अ फैमिली एज अ होल कैसे चलता है फिर राइट सो प्राइमरीली वी वांट टू रिड्यूस द टॉक्सिसिटी फॉर दैट लिवर हैज टू बी डूइंग वेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल digestive system which is primarily gut system should be good right many of these children because of the toxicity itself they're severely constipated then we cannot expect their toxins to be going going out many a times when we look at these children the liver markers are high otpts are high means liver is not optimally functioning right and so liver hamara detox uh, organ rehta hai absolutely so the first thing is that their digestive system should get better, constipation should get relieved, and we should feed the best of the foods. Now, food is today has become a thing to, to fill the stomach. It is not to nourish the body. We cannot detox the uh, body without nourishing it because detoxification is a quite an energy intense process. Body has to really do a lot of effort to detox. अगर body के अंदर enough nourishment नहीं है तो body उसको excrete नहीं कर पाएगा so good diet a fantastic diet making sure the gut is doing okay then liver is doing okay that's a very very first baseline fundamental work that we have to do now, second is we have to test thoroughly which all minerals or vitamins are missing in the body now, a lot of time it is very very interesting uh, when your vitamin D is low, one of the metal, which is called strontium, will go high. Okay. So similarly, if minerals are low, it's easy for the metals to go settle in. Okay. So the moment we start giving those minerals which are missing in the body, then body can knock off these heavy metals. So that is the second layer of things that we have to start doing. Nourishment of the uh, body by after testing what is missing in the system third level we start activating the mitochondria which is the engine agar engine thang se nahi kaam kare to itna energy intense process of detoxification kaise hoga body needs energy body needs proteins right 
a lot of these things are driven by the energy of the mitochondria so ye karte karte uske next level depending on if every three months we keep testing keep testing kuch bachcho mein itna karne se elimination chalu ho jata hai when then over a period of time 6 9 months one year slowly gradually they keep eliminating and cannot be done fast it has to be done slow if this doesn't work then next level is chelation then we introduce slow chelation in them slowly gradually and keep testing them every step we keep testing their organ function keep testing their nutrition keep testing the toxins so how much gains are there and proportionally we keep looking at the child also how are they responding okay. they should manifest health as we take away the toxins they should start manifesting health and we see a proportional gain in their health also in terms of language in terms of communication in terms of socialization in terms of cognition all aspects start improving gradually step by step as we clean their system wow so basically uh, the system actually cleans itself and we just try to support it to clean itself is that how it is absolutely absolutely yeah this body is smart enough this body is smart we just absolutely. we just has to support the body with the right things wonderful wonderful so uh, parents and viewers you can hear it's it's from the expert's mouth the body can heal itself if given the right resources if given the right support and that's what we are trying to highlight over here uh that with that dr garg uh that's a wonderful explanation and a wonderful uh, case that we had spoken about i want to quickly take up our viewers have a couple of questions and uh mr uh, i i believe uh shadow man is what i can see who is asked a question i'm just going to show it uh on the screen it says sir how about molybdenum um it's showing high in his son's report so wants to know about molybdenum so is it is one of the trace mineral in the body if we have been supplementing it with through some nutraceuticals for a very long time it can go up it's a good stuff but even a good stuff going beyond range is not a good idea so even we are giving nutrition to the child we should keep testing it right we want to uh, keep it at a optimal level we don't want to overrush it okay okay so uh, uh, excess of everything is bad <laughs> yes That's yes all right all right uh wonderful so let me look into uh, other messages uh, so i have a message from uh, i believe kingdom of pavika who says uh, sir medicine kab tak leni hoti hai uh, bachcha habitual to nahi hota acha nahi uh, interesting hai I, i can understand the anxiety of a parent hum dawai ke sath bacche ko theek nahi kar rahe in the sense हम तो बॉडी को सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं बॉडी अपना प्रॉब्लम खुद से सॉल्व कर रहे लेट्स पुट इट दैट वे वी जस्ट ट्राइंग टू मेक द बॉडी हेल्दी अब जब हमने बॉडी को हेल्दी बना दिया तो हमको मेडिसिन या सप्लीमेंट क्यों देना है सो कैन वी रन द बॉडी विदाउट नरिशमेंट कैन वी रन अ कार विदाउट फ्यूल नो नरिशमेंट फ्यूल तो जब तक जिंदा है तब तक चाहिए अब वो खाने से आए किसी मीडियम से बॉडी नीड्स वॉट इट नीड्स बॉटम लाइन लेकिन हम कोई बुखार का गोली नहीं दे रहे हैं कि ज, 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 अगर गोली देंगे तो बुखार उतरेगा नहीं तो नहीं उतरे हम तो हील कर रहे हैं बॉडी को यू डोंट नीड मेडिसिन आफ्टर द हीलिंग हैज हैपेंड वंडरफुल वंडरफुली एक्सप्लेन थैंक यू डॉक्टर गर्ग सो उज्जवल सक्सेना जी का भी बड़ा ही इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन है ही सेज इफ अ चाइल्ड इज ऑन नॉर्मल होम डाइट देन आल्सो देयर आर चांसेस ऑफ हेवी मेटल टॉक्सिसिटी <laughs> okay now it is good and a lot of people think normal you know the change the normal has changed for us it's no more the right thing but anyway where are these heavy metals can come from let's first look at that uh, these uh, metals can come from uh, uh, if the, the, we live in a city where the lot of fuel burning is happening we can come inhale that a lot of time earlier it used to be the the paint that we would put on a wall would have lead into it right now recent paints we don't have so somebody living in a old home with a old paint they will be you know inhaling all the lead 
and of course industry if industry is there now a lot of time uh, nowadays there's a trend which is a good trend that we should use uh, earthen pots to keep water and cook food and all of that it's a good concept but somebody has not chosen a good quality earth to make that pot it has lead and it leached into the food it leached into the water wonderful so supply. very water important supply is a big problem especially i'm in bangalore we don't even know what we are drinking and it has happened with me also recently you know i i just missed to uh, uh, replace the filters every year i just got lazy i tested myself two days back my lead is super high i have to put a lot of effort now to take it out from my system i just become little lazy and the water is contaminated deeply and i forgot to uh, change my filters so the avenues and then uh, you know a lot of time if the, you, we are buying veggies which is grown on the on on the bad water then it will suck all the all the lead and toxins into the veggies you cannot even clean it right my, so if, oh if anybody is growing veggies next to a sewer system and typically it happens in cities there's hardly any space to have a good amount of space to grow mm. and the people are just to sell it they're growing anywhere and everywhere wherever they get a chance but then the supply water which is highly polluted what will happen so avenues of getting these toxins in the system are so many today so uh ujwal saxena might have got the answer and for the remaining people as well such an important uh thing and a follow up question also to it so so once metal is gone through vaccination how long they will stay in the body that is a follow up question which uh, ujwal wanted to ask so until body is able to eliminate that it can stay for life also and somebody see not necessarily everybody will manifest as autism many of them are unfortunately manifesting as autism many of them will manifest as type 1 diabetes their immune system will get dysregulated and they get into type 1 diabetes even children today getting thyroid problems right so this for how long it will stay depends when we take action on that yes our body is supposed to be detoxifying but if our genes have altered not fully functional in the in the sense of detoxification there is not not enough nourishment there is constipation there is dehydration liver is compromised probably it can stay for a, for a very long time until we take action on that so uh, viewers you heard it you heard it from the expert as well even normal cheeje definitely can affect all of us we don't unknowingly even don't get to know uh, what kind of things are happening so it becomes imp imperative to know what's actually going on so uh, very importantly uh, uh, i have got couple of questions from paritosh who has been uh, asking couple of things uh, is he says uh, what are some of the common sources of heavy metals in home diet <laughs> so subsequently this is the question and what are some of the quick means to eliminate these heavy metals example using water or filters etc and a follow up so question think, is again vegetables and fruits how should they be cleaned and everything right so uh, if it is coming from the spraying of the pesticide etc you can try to clean it but if it's gone inside the thingy it will not come out so first thing uh, stick to organic as much as it can be especially when the child has a problem right so uh, that's that so make sure you use a good quality water filters ro systems are there uh, then we need to remineralize the water adding some salts to it right we we clean the water then we add right minerals because ro system it's also good not a good idea in the sense that water is not healthy after that it is clean but not healthy so, but cleaning is required so we clean it then we put the minerals back and we can charge the water under sun to reactivate the water to to contain the energy of the water wow a uh, lot many things there uh, and fruits and vegetables ko kaise saaf karna chahiye uh, dr garg because nowadays uh, there is a lot of hype about organic vegetables and fruits as well so uh, uh, how do we recognize the difference or uh, how do we know that the organics do not have anything you see they will always be a confusion about it but there are companies who are putting genuine effort 
they they use the right soil okay they don't spray any uh, pesticides herbicide fungicide on the top of it okay and right? that is why these veggies will spoil much faster than the veggies with lot of pesticides ah uh. so you have to choose and trust somebody right and a lot of these companies will produce certificates and all of that but it's not a 100% guarantee but at least better than anything on the road side so we have to start somewhere okay. and the cleaning you can use ozone water you can use sodium bicarb to clean it so there are various ways and ozone and sodium bicarb could be a decent option to clean the pesticides on the top of which is sprayed on the uh, on the veggies or fruits all right uh so uh, adwik had a question uh, that you know he has received his son's heavy metals report and uh, uh, normally which heavy metals uh, should we be really concerned about so typically as per the research mercury is big uh, culprit aluminum lead uh, arsenic cadmium these four five are uh, sort of well established in the literature there beyond that also uh, sometimes it becomes tough, tough to test them but 3 4 5 easily we can test them but another thing we have to very very important is sometime you do a serum testing now reference range is squid let's say lead level as per the tharokat report should be less than 5 ideally but okay. reference range is 150 is normal so when a person without knowing the right numbers they read the report themselves they feel it is normal as per the range 150 is the normal range actually it should be less than 5 that's that's a huge uh, difference there huge and it's very it's, a pulp, it's it's just a criminal for a, for a you know but but when a parent reads it for example vitamin d the reference is 30 to 60 is the normal range so anything close to 30 or less than 30 parents think oh my god my child is fantastic there's no problem and people come to us they say my reports are clean my child's reports are clean but actually good number of vitamin d is 6 to 80 so you have to go to the right guy who can read the reports for you and make sense out of these reports sometimes if parents read the report themselves if they, everything seems okay if everything is okay where is the problem coming from uh wow uh really really an eye opening thing so uh viewers parents anyone who is watching and looking in for concerns just don't rely on the report you really need an expert to read that report interpret it so that you get the right thing that you need to write rightly work on so please keep that point in mind and with, with that we come to uh, i believe the last question that i'll be able to take for the because we'll be over the time uh, so pankaj varma asks that so underground water taken by submersible motors and uh, gets purified with ro and the uv process can be considered harmless for child and what should be done to overcome this concern so i think once we use ro it should ideally remove all the the heavy metals ideally as long as the quality of the ro is good right and uv will kill all the microbial things if at all they're, they're there now it has become a clean water but clean is not enough so like i said after we clean the water we put it put it under sun to charge the water at least 2 3 hours under sun then we can put some salt into it himalayan salt celtic salt which is rich in minerals so we remineralize the water body needs a lot of minerals and water is a good source of minerals but our water will take it away which is okay right there's no other way to it we living in cities uh, pollution is a big concern for everybody so you ro then you remineralize the water wow a oh, good good very good suggestion i hope you have noted that and got an answer for that uh, and uh, a very very vital question has come uh, once again uh, as we were talking that you know uh, there have been uh, cases uh, as as L- this mr learner says that there has been a huge surge in the number of cases after covid 19 why these physiological changes came all of a sudden this is a surge in number of cases after okay so neuro inflammation is one of the triggering factor now heavy metals can cause immune damage 
thereby inflammation can happen similarly viral infections can also cause neuroinflammation so this covid uh, infection was really unusual really really unusual and there's a lot of conspiracy theories around it that some uh, gain of function was done on the virus which means there were attempts to make this virus more pathogenic in the sense that it's tough for the body to eliminate the spikes of uh, of this covid vax, uh, virus or even the vaccine so when we have more spikes of the protein even infection in the sense of fever is gone but we're still retaining the spikes and this spikes of, of this covid vaccine still can cause inflammation and neuro inflammation can happen and we are seeing a surge of cases because of that uh very very uh, interesting things that have been shared by you dr garg and again really thankful to you uh, that uh, you have taken out your valuable time to spend with our viewers with the with people sharing the knowledge that they really need to know and giving a hope to the parents that uh there there are different ways there are some things that have not been explored and probably gives them hope for a better living for their child and for themselves as well and with that uh, we'll come to the conclusion uh dr garg just uh i i would like to hear uh, a couple of words from you uh, words of hope for, for the parents and for the remaining people who have asked a couple of questions uh on the uh, comment section etc i request you to kindly uh, uh scan the qr code uh, which will flash on the screen and you can ask us your queries uh, directly over there as well so our health counselor will be able to help you but yes dr garg uh, one of the most important thing um, uh, th there was one more question that has uh, come in uh, which is a dicey one i just want to quickly put it in it says does a uh, non veg food affect uh, and do you think it's important so non veg so so i'm not against vegetarian or non vegetarianism so we can follow any uh, of, of dietary patterns mm -hmm. bottom line it the food has to be good quality it's tough to get good non vegetarian food it's very tough even vegetarianism there are lot of bad things are happening right so whether we are vegetarian or non vegetarian there are two things we have to look at one are we able to digest that food that is first second uh, is the quality good are there any antibiotics injected to it is there any hormones injected to it is there any pesticides to it and if quality is good we are able to digest it i think there should be enough uh, and it should be more than enough to keep us healthy so it becomes that the background checks need to be done so thoroughly then you get to know that you can put the thing in your mouth uh yes. pretty much uh, investigatory there but yes you heard it from the expert dear viewers parents etc i'm pretty sure uh you might have got the lot of questions answered and a uh, very important thing yes dr gar i want this from you please send uh, a little bit of a hope to the parents and to the viewers who are really looking in for things what are your last words for them and how would you like to encourage them that they do not need to give up so as the as our experience says <coughs> as the research is progressing it is becoming more evident that what we are dealing in terms of autism is not a fixed encephalopathy it's not a fixed problem or hard wired problem of the brain it's a problem which can be fixed it's a problem because of the underlying issues and one of the issue that we discussed today yeah if you're willing to work hard towards it as a parent we are willing to put efforts towards it there are chances we should be able to eliminate the problem from the body and allow the body and the brain to become healthier if the brain becomes healthy it will function normally as it's supposed to be functioning wonderful wonderfully explained and thank you once again for your valuable time uh, and i really look forward to uh, talking to you in another wonderful session maybe we'll be covering another stuff as well thank you so much you have a wonderful weekend sir and for the dear viewers uh, you've heard it you you i i really don't need to explain things we really need to uh, find various solutions hamare paas 
dusre solutions bhi hain maybe we are not exploring them today we we showed you from the experts mouth itself that there are other ways as well there are some unexplored things that you may have may not have explored and may need to explore so down there you can comment below if you are really looking into to talking to the counselor you want to you can even scan the code right away and talk to the health counselor directly regarding the problems that you are facing and if you like the content please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel to our instagram wherever you have joined in from and remember this is also being recorded so if one of your friends or any of your friends needs help if any of the parents any of the child needs help please don't uh, hesitate to share this particular uh, uh, important live session that we had with dr garv the talk so wonderful i really really uh, would look will be looking forward to seeing you in another wonderful health talks by yellow squash